Hmm. How you touching. Haven't mm -mm. You haven't gone yet. You should go last. Okay, I'll go last. You should, because you're still going to do that thing. Yeah, huh? I'm going to do the thing that we did. Okay, that so we can I do more. something? Yeah, absolutely. Am I talking to Thanara right now? She, this 18-foot woman turns and looks behind her and says, yeah, for sure, yeah. When we started this mm -hmm. expedition, right, mm -hmm. is what we'll call it together, Yeah. Uh, we didn't really know each other that well, and we became really close, and we became family, I believe. Um, I came in here telling you uh, that I was going to ask you to restore the dead to life um, of the Fae people, and I still would like that to happen. But if at all possible, if you could help remove Gertrude's <sighs> curse as well, I think that would be a really kind gesture for the Fae people and for my new sister. Please. Sorry, I got a little emotional in real life. Um, she looks and says, what a truly selfless act. Mm -hmm. Tear streaks from her face. Noble soul. Your wish is granted. Oh, and she goes, before you do, she goes, before you do, before you do! And then she, 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 she it takes a long time. She did tiny little legs. She walks over. She wants to get really close to this lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I didn't know that was coming. I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So, Gertrude is, is standing in front, in front of this giant woman. She is quite terrified again but now the the shaking is down to just her toes so you probably nobody can probably see it then ours probably has an idea but she's really kind of like got her hands strong and then she goes this is all i've ever wanted in my entire life which has been a very long life and then she reaches into her bag and then she holds the thing and i'm sure the nurse probably knows what this is already she holds it up and she looks at it and she goes i think you deserve the same kind that was offered to me. And she just puts it in her lap. And then she goes, okay, now you can do it. She is so moved in this moment. This kindness shown from Twyla to Gertrude and from Gertrude to her. Freedom. Freedom. From the service I have done this place, and of the world, both above and below. Gertrude, I knew you would understand. I saw that your heart was big enough to feel for even the goddess of death and the underworld. And so, when you were but a child, the magic within you was so great. But more than that, your heart, so pure, so trusting and so kind, that I sought only to smile on you and give a blessing to your life. But of course, my blessings always are twisted. I wished for your life to be kept safe and protected, but that brought with it a curse of immortality. You were ever on my mind, and your gifts were given with love, but those things I give hurt mortals to bear, and I wish for your sorrows, I had not given them, and I am sorry. I cannot accept this. Oh no. You see, she looks at it, and it's, you can see so clearly that she wants to. She wants to so badly. She says, for if I leave this throne, yes, you have given me a way out, but if I were to leave, I am the source of power for this realm. 
all the spirits who have a home here would crumble apart and be left with nothing. The, the stones and wastelands, the rivers would fall apart into oblivion. If I were to leave, there is no, there is no source of power that could sustain this realm. And so I must stay. If it is a, a kind and true gift, and if I knew of anything within the underworld that had the power to shed magic on this realm other than me, I would gladly leave, but I know of no such thing. Wait, is there anything? Wait, do we have anything? We don't have anything. Oh, the, oh, honestly, the only thing I can think of, which I've already mentioned earlier, was trying to plant this seed, but there's no way that it would grow down here. But considering that there was light that's- I mean, we could have asked you could plant it here and here, and it could become the new- But I can open it up. My druid craft, I, I can, I can, um, I can, I can open the seed. I can open the seed, and plant it down which here creates here. which creates life, right? Which creates life. Can we do that? Yes, I think so. I would like to do that. Twyla, you reach in and take out the last seed of the all blossom. Let's plant it, honey. I. But there is nothing that I. Uh, I, that that the power of that of your entire realm. I, it is too great of a gift, and, and uh, I give life to nothing. There is nowhere down here to plant it. I, and you hear a soft little purr, and you see Buddy Bear walk over to the throne. Oh my God. The thing you summoned all that time ago walks over to the throne and sits and smiles and purrs. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. I am emotional right now. Oh my God. It's very beautiful. <laughs> it's very beautiful. <sighs> Magic of the Fey Realm comes to you and fills you with golden light. You see Thanara step away from her throne and she grows down, free. She looks at you and smiles and says, I do not know what the future of this underworld holds, but a throne is such an oppressive thing for those that behold it and for those that sit upon it. Let there be a different heart of the underworld. All Blossom glows with light, and your playing cards begin to shimmer with light as the Will-O-Wisps pull them up into the air around you, swirling in all directions. Does Twyla plant the seed, and what does it look like as she does? Oh. She just... She looks around at her sisters, and she says, ladies, we did it. And we all gather, we all pick a spot, take the seed out, I plant it. There's this beautiful light and Buddy Bear just purrs, just this beautiful heartwarming purr and we're all just calm. Serenity, golden light. Moments become hours and hours become moments. Time fades away. Thanara takes the mantle of her rulership, the curse that she must ever watch the underworld, blows it into the glass vial that you gave her, Gertrude, and it vanishes. <gasps> and you see her golden bracer <laughs> vanish from her arms. She looks at you free and says, I do not know what adventures await me in the realms beyond, but I dedicate them to you, sweet Gertrude. She kisses you on each cheek and says, 
That jackal owes you a hell of a lot more than a damn rug. <laughs> <laughs> That's a goddess curse, okay? That's worth a lot. And she smiles at you all and says, heroes, not just of the underworld, but heroes to me, sweet sisters. And she, oh, and I guess, well, we got it. Let's use it. Use it. Uh, use it. She uh, opens a portal oh, to wow. realms beyond, and she smiles at you all and waves and walks away from all of the pain and sorrow that she felt here on her next great adventure. And for all of you, you watch Golden Light playing cards, and you hear the songs, the, the music of the fairy realm, and you see growing, the throne cracks as roots and plants rip the throne apart, and a beautiful flower blooms and blossoms, and suddenly the tower crumbles around you, but the, before any rock can fall, roots and briars tear the stones away, and you look not at a deep red crimson lightning storm cloud, but suddenly, oh, first one and then another and another rays of sunlight. The all blossom blooms again and as it blooms, charging forward, as a little chipmunk surges oh, forward, man. surges forward. Oh, we'll move go! Oh, the fairy rose! <laughs> let's get a drink and let's, I don't know, fuck around, what do you think? Let's go! <laughs> 